Welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today we'll discuss the differential. We'll explain what it is, how it impacts the handling of your car and how you can change the differentials preload to make your setups better for your driving style. We're also going to analyze the effects of changes made to the differential with the Track Titan platform where you can analyze your own driving for free and get some extra analysis tools when you sign up using code DIV. The differential is a device which uses a set of gears to distribute power to both wheels while allowing them to rotate at different speeds. When a car turns through a corner, the wheels on the outside have to travel a longer distance than the wheels on the inside. The differential solves this by allowing both wheels to rotate at different speeds, preventing your tires from skipping and slipping while turning. In a sim like ACC, you can change the preload of the differential, which means you can make it more like a locked differential, an open differential or anything in between. A locked differential means that both wheels turn at the same rate and they always get 50% of the engine's power. Although this is great if you're going drifting, it's not that great for racing. Now, when the diff is fully opened, it will send most of the engine's power to the wheel that has the least rotational resistance. So, in theory, if one wheel is stuck, the other is supplied with 100% of the engine power. These are both extremes and you probably don't want to use a fully open or locked diff when you're going racing, but it helps to understand how the differential works. Now changing the preload of the diff moves it closer to fully open or closed. And this affects the behavior of the car in different scenarios. So when we increase the preload of the diff, which means closing it more, we'll experience the following. When we're on the throttle, we'll have more oversteer at lower speeds, but more understeer at higher speeds. And when we're off the throttle, we'll experience more understeer, especially at higher speeds. So increasing the preload of the diff can be useful if your car feels unstable at higher speeds and has trouble getting through those low speed corners with a lot of understeer. Now when we decrease the preload, which means opening the diff up more, we'll experience the opposite. When we're on the throttle, we'll have more understeer at lower speeds and more oversteer at higher speeds. Now when we're off the throttle, we'll experience more oversteer because the rear wheels can move more freely. Lowering the preload can help you if your car feels too understeer at higher speeds and you need some more agility. Because changes to the preload affect your car in different ways, in multiple situations, it's crucial to make small changes and test them out. That's why we compared two laps in ACC at the Nürburgring on the Track Titan platform. Both laps were driven with the standard aggressive setup, except the orange lap has a lower preloaded differential and the blue lap has a higher preloaded differential. Segment three is interesting to review as it is a slow corner combination and we can beautifully see the difference in driving styles required to make it around these corners. The orange lap is a lot smoother with its throttle input as it is a lot more stable during the slow corners on throttle. While the blue lap carefully uses the on throttle oversteer to get him around the corner, which becomes very evident in the spiky blue line on the speed chart. We can see the same thing in segment six, where the blue car is avoiding power oversteer, while the orange car can enjoy a somewhat smoother throttle application. Now, when we look at the fast uphill Schumacher S, we see the orange driver has a lot more agility at these higher speeds. They can get off the throttle later while still being able to make the turn, while the blue lap has trouble keeping it within track limits here. Changing the differential preload immediately changes how the car handles, forcing you to adjust your driving style. And this also works the other way around, of course. If the car is not fitting your driving style, you might be able to get it in check by changing the differential's preload. Now let us know if you learned something new from this video or if you have any questions. Check out the Track Titan platform in the description down below if you want to easily analyze your own sim racing and we hope to see you in the next video.